morning everybody. I hope everybody's having a good start to the weekend and you guys are all staying safe. Um, I've got a couple of things I wanted to share with you today. I received in the mail a package from Evelyn Ramos and Evelyn was so kind um, to send me a friendship journal page. Um, so, that, you know, it obviously came in after the deadline. This just came in um, a couple of days ago, and this first chance I've had to um, to come on here. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It is beautiful. She's wrapped it up in this gorgeous blue uh, ruffle trim, so I'm going to definitely make use of that. I love that. I've never seen that. Um, she may have made that. Oh, it is beautiful, though. So here... Look at this. She's done this beautiful flower clip. You know, we've all got those kind of clips, and I never thought about that with the flower. That is absolutely beautiful, Evelyn. And I love the colors, because you've got the teal and the black together. That is really stunning. It, It's like a, a really bold statement. I love that. And then she's got this trim along here. Beautiful papers. So in this pocket, look at that stenciling, isn't that beautiful? She's got a tab, and she's done some really pretty stitching there. So you got a nice big pocket there. And then here, she's got a clip there. It's with the journal card, isn't that beautiful? And then that <coughs> creates a pocket behind there. I love that. That is really, really pretty. Lace, and then on the back here, She's got another beautiful journal spot, and then she's got Evelyn Create Creativia. So I will look that up and see if she's got a channel. Um, I'll put that in the description box below. Uh, look at those paper clips. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to let you see a close-up. Isn't that beautiful? The, butter the blueberries and a butterfly. Oh, I love that. This has all been lined and stitched. Beautiful tabs. I, this is such a great idea. Look at that. How oh, she's got that displayed. I love it. Beautiful. Oh, those are absolutely gorgeous. This is such a great idea with the, the little pockets, the, the clear pockets. You know, was, I've seen a couple of um, tutorials where people have... Um, altered the, you know, that you used to be able to get the little uh, photo albums at the Dollar Tree, and I've seen people take them and do this, but obviously I don't have access to Dollar Tree at the present, <laughs> the present time, but yeah, it's something that's always been in the back of my mind, and I love it now that I can see um, how she's done this, and look at the die cuts, beautiful. Oh, those are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that bird nest. Look at him. Beautiful. Those are so pretty. And I love the little tabs. Look at that. It's just so sweet. Another little journal card with a dimensional butterfly there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Ah, here we go. YouTube channel. Yep, I will put her link in the description box below, guys. I love it, Evelyn. I'm so, so glad this came through. I'm sorry that you didn't uh, make it in time to be part of the drawing, but I'm really grateful for the page. I love the um, stencil. I guess it's a thing, you know, I need to start venturing out and being a bit more adventurous with my stenciling. Um, I have ordered a couple of um, Tim Holtz stencils, but I don't know when they're going to arrive because they it all comes from the U.S., and um, 
it just takes ages. Look at that. She's got two beautiful tuck spots there. I love this, Evelyn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> beautiful. So the other thing I wanted to share with you is my sweet friend, Charlotte Peterson. You all know Charlotte. She's got a YouTube channel here, and she is super talented. She sent me some happy mail, and I am so excited about it. Um, she did um, a video back, and I was asking about this specific dye, and she guided me to where I could get it. But obviously, it's in the U.S., and st stuff that comes into the U.K., Honestly, by the time you pay the um, administrative fee that the mail puts on it and the duties on it, it almost doubles the cost. So it's just insane, uh, and it's not worth it. I mean, I love the dye, but I'm not paying like $70 for a dye. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. So I said to <clears throat> Charlotte, I said, oh, when I go back, if I ever get to come back, um, I said, I'll, I'll order it and have it sent to either my daughters or my son. And she was so kind to go ahead and cut me out a whole stack of these. Look at that. And I just, it means a lot to me because I know how much time it takes to do this. And it is really, really appreciated, Charlotte. And the papers she's chosen are just beautiful. I mean, they're so neutral. They could go with anything. Um, but yeah, it's a little slide um, die, and I've seen several. Charlotte did uses it, and then um, Susie with Shabby Soul has done some projects with this. And it is when I spotted that, I was like, "Oh, I gotta have that die." You know how we are. Every time we see somebody use something, we got it. It goes on the wish list. <laughs> so yeah, this is just amazing. So Charlotte, it is truly appreciated. I know all the effort of cutting those things out and then having to drive down to the post office particularly you know with all this going on but I am really really grateful look at that that's sweet beautiful love it love it love it Charlotte thank you it uh, like I said I, I'm so grateful it gives me something else to play around with and keep my mind off of this madness um, I don't know what <clears throat> I'm not I tried, I'm trying to keep up with the news in the U.S., but it's not really easy for me to find um, a lot. I'm just catching it, you know, from my kids what's going on, but the U.K. is in lockdown for at least another three weeks, so I'm very, very discouraged about that. Um, I know a lot of people have different views on, you know, I'm not going to get into all that. We've all got, you know our different opinions on what we think is best but um, yeah I wasn't I wasn't too too happy to hear about it but I wanted to share with you guys now this is not completely done but this is the last latest journal that I finally completed um, so let me tell you a little story behind this this is the Nick the Booksmith course as you guys are aware of well, this was my last batch and um, I, I've held on to one, I thought, because I never make myself a journal, you see. So I held and held and held on to this. And this fabric, uh, Melanie Barnes, who's here on YouTube, and she's in uh, a lot of the Facebook groups, I had showed this. I made a journal like this before, and this went off, it went to Australia. Um, and Melanie spotted it, and she said, Gina, because I said, oh, I picked this up. It's a sham. It was a pillow sham from the car boot. And she said, Gina, that was Edith Holden uh, bedding. And she said it was back in the 80s. And she um, she was, you know, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm so grateful for her sharing it. Because when I saw it in the, you know, they do these house clearings, and it's just all in a pile. And I thought, gosh, that looks familiar, but. You know, I, I didn't link it to, with Edith Holden, but I loved it, and I was like, oh, i got to have that. So I picked it up, and it was just a single pil uh, pillow sham, or maybe I had two. See, I can't even remember. It's been about two years now. So I decided I'm going to make myself a journal um, because I want 
I don't know if I'll ever get back to these. I love making them, but I'm, I got it, you know, and I, I'm burnt out on it. It's a long process. Um, and so I thought, well, I'm going to make myself one because it may be years before I get back to making these. Um, I don't know. But anyways, so that's what I did. And I just, you know, as I'm going through my books and papers, I always <laughs> find little things that I think, oh, I want to save that page for my journal, you know, which is like five years on. And finally it came to be. So uh, I'll just show you inside now. What I'm going to still do is put one of the um, Tim Holtz book plates on here with, um, you know, journal or documents or something like that. Um, but inside, I have not added pockets yet. This is just plain Jane. Um, just purely papers. Um, you know, various ones that I thought, ooh, like that. That was a out of that retro home book. And I thought, oh, I really like that. It's so, you know, 50s, I suppose, would be the, the time that that would have been done. And then, you know, just like that. I just thought that was pretty. And... And then a collection of digitals that I like. And this was um, Kath Kitson um, paid book, notebook that I got. And I, I just like it. Of course, you know I love the lavender. And um, so there it is. That's it. It's just very plain. Um, but it's, it's for me to now <laughs> start adding all of my ideas that I've been making. So when I'm doing um, bulk... Let me grab some stuff, guys. I've never really, as you all know, I've never really been into the bulk creating. Um, but I have, uh, during this lockdown, started doing a bit. And I shared these on Instagram. This is not my idea. This is Junk Journal Joy. Uh, she is here on YouTube. And I, I copied... Uh, I followed her tutorial and made these little um, button cards. So as, as I'm saying with this, now I'm going to start holding one back for myself, sticking it in here because I, I need a reference to, um, I, you know, along with all of the fabulous friendship journals, I can now go to those. But I also wanted a place, and this is going to store all of mine. And, um, you know, I'm hoping, I'm still hoping to get back into the journaling part of it. I do some, but it's not like what I would call pretty journaling. And my, the way I <laughs> am made, it's like, oh, I don't want to mess up my journals because my journaling style is so crappy. Um, that I'm thinking, oh, I just keep like junky journals that I, I know that, they don't have to be pretty. I can just dump my thoughts into it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So I don't know if I'll ever fill this with thoughts. It may be um, something completely different. I always wanted to do one for quotes that I run across because um, I want to start gathering quotes that I see on Pinterest and things. <laughs> And then I want to type those with my vintage typewriter. Um, but oh my gosh, guys, when, when, when am I ever going to find time to do it all? I don't know. But I do aspire to do all these things. So I guess that's the thing is just hanging on hope. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like uh, the lockdown for me has definitely made me step back. Oh, look at the little hedgehog. I want one of them in my garden. Um, it is sweet, um, but it's made me start doing things for myself that I haven't been doing for ever. <laughs> so, um, and I don't know, that probably sounds kind of selfish, but you know, it's like you're making and making and making things for everybody else. And you think, I look back on some of my journals and think, oh gosh, I really wish I had kept that journal for myself. And, um. But at the time, you're always thinking, well, I'll, I'll make my one for me down the road. So here it is. That's what I finally did. And um, <clears throat> so that's what I've been doing, guys. I've been sitting in my little space doing some bulk uh, things. I was trying to think. I know I made another batch. Oh, yeah. I made these. Um, and I love how they came out. You know, I've been gathering some flowers. These are just wildflowers. Or maybe they're even weeds. I don't know. Um, 
sometimes I, I pick weeds, but they're pretty to me, so I don't really care. Um, so, I, you know, I've done these in the past with just laminating them, but this came to mind, and this was some old uh, music <clears throat> songbook from, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing about the 30s or 40s. It was a children's. I showed it to you guys before. But I found this one. It was Among the Flowers, it, the name of that song. And I was like, oh, wouldn't that be beautiful to put the flowers on it? So that's what I did, guys. So there's no need for a tutorial here. <clears throat> you just um, cut it the size you want it to be, and then lay your place your flowers on that, run that through laminator, and then stitch around it. And I might add an eyelet and some ribbon. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. But I really, really loved how those came out. It's got, you know, the wording all goes along with the springtime and flowers. And I just thought it was really sweet. Like this one was buttercups and daisies. That was the whole sheet there. I love it. I love how they came out. So those, I've been making those. And that's basically it, guys. Just, um... You know, staying busy now. The other thing I've got is about, I counted it up yesterday. I've got 23 journals I've started, and I don't know. I'm just struggling to get focused back on it, but I am planning it. <laughs> so hang in there, guys. I am. I'm, I'm working away still back here, and uh, I'm just not not being it on YouTube that much because I've been busy in the garden and stuff. So I wanted to share that... Um, those beautiful happy mail that I received and I wanted to <clears throat> let you guys see those and I'm still working on the friendship journal covers I got seven of those left to do um, but I did want to finish this and I now will jump back in and start working on those so Thank you, Charlotte and Evelyn. It is so appreciated. Um, I hope everybody is having a great weekend, and I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.